Hello everyone, welcome back to Youth Sport Trust After School Club and today is Tuesday Play with me, Alastair Patrick Heselton. You must remember me, right? I was a former professional footballer and then I went on to become a Paralympic footballer playing seven aside for players with cerebral palsy or acquired brain injury. Now guys, for Tuesday Play, what are we going to be getting into? Well, we'll be doing a lot of stuff as Santa's elves today, so um, bear with me, there's going to be lots for us to do. But we are going to need some equipment. So for today's activities, we're going to be needing a dice if you've got one. We'll also be needing a box or a bin. And it would be great if we had two socks or two small balls or something that we could maybe just throw in there. And six pieces of paper. So if you've got six pieces of paper and a pen, we're going to be writing down some really cool things on them. And we'll get into that in just a moment. Okay, guys, you know, the Youth Sport Trust, that great national charity that's been helping all you kids stay active. The reason has been, we know coronavirus has made things really difficult. We've been missing out on all our extracurricular activities and all our after-school sport. So we want to keep you guys active. Myself and a team of some fantastic athletes that represented Great Britain in the Olympics or Paralympic Games. We've all got together and we've been putting on these fantastic sessions for you. And this is the last week. And this is my last day with you here today. So let's have lots of fun. Okay, but you know, like anything, before we get into it, we have to make sure our space that we're going to be in is safe. And my ice world today, it's going to be very cold in here. It's going to have, there might even be a few polar bears chasing us around, you know. But what's your world going to be like? But let's make sure everything is safe. There's nothing that we could trip over on. We won't slip or knock anything over and it won't break. And as always, before we start any like strenuous activity, we have to get warmed up, don't we? And we're going to be like, you know, really using our imagination with all the things that we do. But let's have a nice fun warm up, all right, for a Tuesday. And we're going to be Santa's elves. Now, as Santa's elves, it's really important that we don't get seen and we don't get heard. So when we're moving around, can we move around really quickly on our tiptoes? So follow me around. Let's do it. Nice, nice, small steps. And then when you hear me say, freeze, we stop. Then we get moving again. So let's nice and fast, fast movements. Freeze. And then we freeze. Let's move again. Freeze. And then we're froze. Oh, that's really good. Okay. Well, getting freezing is just a little bit silly. We can do a bit more than that. Sometimes, you know what? It, when it gets so icy, I have my legs get stuck in all these freezing cold puddles. I have to really pull them out and I end up doing things like this. Can you try that? From now on, if I say ice, we're going to have to get off onto our tiptoes and then we're going to have to try and extend one foot while we're up on those tiptoes. So if I say freeze, we have to run. And if I freeze, then if I say ice, up on our tiptoes, and we'll put one leg out as well. Really focus on that calf because you'll feel your calf muscle get nice and tight in there as you're like, you're really working that muscle because it's keeping you up on your tiptoes. And try and use both legs to work them both. Let's get moving again. Ice! Well, that was good. I can really feel that in my calf. Let's get moving again. And we're moving. Lots of small steps. Focus on taking lots of fast foot taps. Ice. Ooh. I think my calves are already ready for a stretch. So let's slow that down there. Let's step forward. Let's push that heel back into the ground. You should feel that nice stretch in your calf. You know what? The elves, they love Christmas just as much as we do. So when you hear me say, it's Christmas, we have to run and do a star jump. And then we land and focus on our landing. It has to be really good. We really hit that landing. And we, it's nice and solid there. And remember, a star jump isn't a jumping jack. So we have to be at star shape at the very top of our jump. So we'll, it's Christmas, we run and we make the star. 
then we land. Nice solid landing. Did he freeze as we've landed? Okay, let's get moving again. Freeze! Moving. It's Christmas! Excellent. See that landing again? Almost like a statue after we landed at a nice strong position. Okay, let's go move it. Right. And move it. Excellent. It's Christmas. Excellent, guys. That time that wasn't a very good landing for me. It was a bit floppy there. Always used to have to land well when we play football. We go up for a header. And we land. It has to be really good landing. So focus on how well we can land. Let's get moving, guys. Ice. I'm moving again. It's Christmas. Excellent. Okay, I think we need, need some more stretch in there. So let's go for these hamstrings this time. So it's going to be foot forward, left leg back, and then straight leg and just lean down at the knee. You can bring the toes up if you want to feel that extra stretch there. Give that a little shake. Switch over. Today, guys, we are going to be looking at our balancing. We're going to be balancing in lots of different ways and there'll be a great amount of choice here. So we'll be able to use what we call autonomy, which is just do things completely randomly. I know at the time of coronavirus, we've had to, we're not too sure which way things are going and we've just had to be very responsive to what we're being told, following guidelines. So today we're just going to have to be very responsive to what our diet says. So we'll be throwing a dice and we'll have to be striking all sorts of great balances based on that. I'll be telling you all about that soon. Okay. Now we're just stretching that groin muscle, which is just down the inside of the legs here. We just do one side step and we lean into it. That little shake. And we'll go the other way. Excellent. Let me just do some slow hip rotations here. When we're balancing, it's always going to be very important to keep our form nice and strong. So we're going to have to be thinking about keeping lots of tension in our limbs, not just when we're balancing ourselves, but we might have something balancing on us. So it's, again, if we're seated, we have something balancing on our arm, our arm will still have to be strong. We have to focus on that. <clears throat> you know what? There's one other thing that elves love doing, and they love making themselves into snowballs. So if I say snowball, or we're moving around, we're going to have to get onto our back, crunch up into a small little ball, as small as we can, and then we'll just rock backwards, rock forwards, and stand up. Wow. Try doing that without using your hands. That could be really tricky, as I found out a few times, guys. All right, so let's get moving. Ice! Excellent. Let's get moving. It's Christmas! Ooh, not a very good landing for me that time, guys. I hope yours is much better than mine. Let's get moving. Snowball! We did it without my hand had to help me there. Did anyone do it without their hand helping them? Okay, guys. Last bit now. I'm going to give you one minute, two minutes. I'll give you two minutes to go grab all those things that you need for our activities today and grab yourselves a drink. So I've got my drink here. Hopefully, you guys have got your water bottles. So you've got two minutes. I'll set timer for you. You can either hit the pause if you're watching this, not live. Wait if you're live, I'll set the clock. Two minutes, off we go. Hmm. I'll always remember when I played football, being able to balance well was something that we had to do because we always had people 
trying to knock us off the wall or knock myself off the wall. So, because I wasn't very big, I had to always make sure I could move my feet quickly to keep that sense of balance. So the feet were always underneath me. So if I was in the air and I was pushed, I'd have to land and always try and be as strong as I could. That's something that we'll work on today. I hope you guys have got water bottles with you. You're drinking, staying nicely hydrated. And I know you must be getting excited for Christmas, because I am. Okay, do you know what? Let's move it on now. That was one minute. And do you know what? I think there's been a bit of a problem. Santa's conveyor belt is broken. And what we're going to do? I've got just the right idea, guys. Don't worry, leave it to me. This is what we're going to need. You've got six pieces of paper. If you haven't, you've got another minute to go and grab six pieces of paper and a pen. We're going to be doing as much as we can to get Santa's presence all back on the sleigh for him. Because Santa, even though he's great, he couldn't do anything without his elves. So we're going to help him do that. Okay, guys, are we back and are we ready to go? Okay, on our six pieces of paper, we're gonna need to write down the numbers one to six. However, with each number, we're gonna have to have an action. So for me, I've got number one and balance on one foot. Number two, we're gonna have to balance on one foot and one hand. And believe me, guys, that could be a lot that could actually sound a lot easier than it will be. We're gonna be balanced on one foot and one hand. Number three, balance on your head, two hands and one foot. That's gonna be my third action. You can do these or you can make up your own. Number four, I'm gonna be up on my tiptoes. And when we're up on tiptoes, make sure we're really stretching those calves as tight as we can, really pushing them right up and trying to make ourselves as big and as tall as we can be. Can we reach the ceiling? So number four will be up on our tiptoes. Number five, two hands, two feet. Now this will be interesting because we could do that in two ways, couldn't we? We could go forwards or we could go so we could be forwards like this, trying to get our heels down as flat as we could. Or we could go backwards. Now, if we go backwards like a crab, let's try and push those hips up as high as we can make them. How flexible are we? As you can see, I'm not very flexible anymore. That's probably as high as I can get my hips. How high can you make your crab? And then number six will be balance on our heels. So that means our toes off the floor. So we're going to be balanced up on our heels like that. Okay. Now I want to take to take those bits of paper with all those numbers one to six and just put them anywhere around the room. So the number six went down there. Put number one there. Number two can go here. Number three will be down over here. Number four can be here and then number five here okay and now guys have we got that dice that's what we're going to need and now we've got our dice now we need to get all of these presents on the sleeve for santa don't we so what we're going to do is we're going to roll the dice whatever number it lands on we're going to have to run as fast as we can using those small steps all the way there and just strike that balance or the action once we get there. So here's an example. So if I'm gonna roll, number one. Okay, where's number one? Number one, it's here. And then balance on one foot. Great. And then we're there, and we'll go straight back into the middle, and then we'll throw again. Are we ready? We need to get all those presents back on the stage. We're not getting anything. I have to actually take that with me and bring it back to the middle to put in the sleigh right here. Okay, let's go. Now we're going for, well, let's see what the next number is. Two. 
Alex on one foot on one hand. Yeah, that's good. That can come back to our sleigh. Okay, what's the next number gonna be? Three. Alex on head, two hands on one foot. Okay, so it's gonna be my head, two hands on one foot. That's good. Bring that back to the sleigh, guys. Come on. Get, get the dice. Let's go again. Five. Two hands and two feet. I'm going to go forwards as tall as I can be. And we're in. I've been really lucky. I've always got a different number every time. If we don't get a different number, we're going to have to do a forfeit of just doing that many star jumps. Number four, would you believe it? So we're up on tiptoes, nice and tall, reaching for the sky. Back in. Get the dice. Please be number six. It's number four again. So I've got four star jumps to do. One, two, three, four. Come on, number six. Where are you? It's four again. One, two, three, four. Four again, guys. One, two, three, four. Number one, one star jump. One, five, one, two, three, four, five. Six, finally, thank you. Balance on the heels, my toes off the floor. Oh, and that was it. Bring that back to say. Oh, and that is all the presents back. Wow. Do you know what, guys? There's more we can do with that. So let's just go and grab a drink. Get our breath back. Hmm. That was a lot of fun. I think me rolling the same number a couple of times there really got me. You can give yourselves any sort of little forfeit that you might like. Could be press ups, sit ups, anything that you want. Hmm. So this time, let's move it on a bit. How's about we add a progression in? <clears throat> what could it be? What do you think we could do? Let's change the rules a bit. Now we're going to roll the dice twice. So the first number it lands on will be which station we go to. But then the second time we roll it, that'll be how many seconds. We have to hold that balance shape for. How does that sound? Great. So let's spread those numbers and actions out once again. So six is going here. Four will go here. Five can be here. Do we move six up and right up to here? Number two. And number one. So we're making sure our space is still safe in our freezing cold icy world. Okay, so remember, we're going to roll the dice twice. The first time will be where we're going to run to, and the second time will be how many, how many seconds we have to hold that pose for. And if we fail those seconds, shall we, shall we say we have to give ourselves a press up challenge or we'll stay with star jumps? Yeah, we'll go press ups this time. Okay. So first I'm gonna roll it, where am I gonna to have to go? One. Where's the one, where's the one? Oh no, we have to roll it again. So I'm running to number one, and now we're gonna see how many seconds I have to balance on one foot for. <laughs> one again, so it's gonna be two number one and balance on one foot for one second. Balance on one foot for one second. 
Excellent. So bring that back to the same. And we'll go again. All that dice. Do you know what? That's number one again. Now I'm going to have to go there. Do one press up. Just need a new number. Number six. We have to get there fastly as quick as we can. So, and then roll again. How long will I have to be in balance on my heels for? For five seconds. Well, so we have to balance on my heels for five seconds. We will go now. One, two, three. <laughs> I haven't done it, so that means it's five rest ups. One, two, three, four, five. I can't have that one. Okay, let's go again. Number three. That's going to be balance on my head. Two has one foot for four seconds. Great. So let's get there. It's going to be two hands, head, and one foot for one, two, three, four. Great. Bring that back to the same. It's right here. Okay, guys. Let's go again. Number six. Okay. That's back to balance on my heels. How long is it going to be for? Please say two. <laughs> it's me too. But if you don't believe me, have a look, guys. Number two right there. Awesome. So balancing on my heels for two seconds. That's one, two. Did it. That can come back to the same. Okay. Three more to get. We've got number four, five, and two to get. Three. It's going to be three press-ups. One, two, three, because I didn't have it. Back again. Three again, another three. One, two, three. Next one. So that's number six. I've been to six. So that's six right One, two, three, four, five, six. Last go in before we will progress on to something else. Four. Here we go, four. Let's go to number four. My chip toes for how long? Six seconds. So up on tick toes for six seconds. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And that was nice and strong throughout all the way. Okay, guys, do you know what? We've got a couple more minutes. So let's grab another drink. Remember that box we were talking about? We need to bring that into the game. So either hit the pause button. If you're watching live or if you're catching up, then feel free to. Oh, Hit the pause button if you're if you're catching up, or if you're live, you've got a minute. Mm. Always find when I get a bit tired, I start saying anything. So bear with. Okay. Now we're gonna put our numbers back where they need to go on Santa's conveyor belt. Thanks, us. We need to get presents back to everyone this Christmas. Now, remember our box and our socks. Let's bring those in. Now let's, this is the sleigh. So let's put the sleigh in the middle of the room. And then we've got two prezies. Okay, these are just two socks rolled up to make four. And do you know what I reckon? When we roll that dice and we have to go somewhere, while balancing, let's try and, we've got two shots to try and get the prezies into the sleigh. How's that sound? Okay. Are we ready? Five seconds and we'll go again. Five, four, three, two, and one. First roll. It's to number six. So where are we? Number six. So four feet. Balance on our heels. Let's just do a good balance once we're there and try and get one of these in. Oh, well, I've come off my heels. So back onto heels. That's two in. All right. And we'll grab them up. Get our dice back. Back to the middle. Oh, don't forget Prezi to go in the sleigh. Okay. Let's throw again. Number six again. A six star jump. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Get that dice again. <laughs> That's number six again, guys. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, 
six. That's good. Let's get our dice. We need to get all the presents back on the screen. Come on. Six again, guys. Would you believe this? This is a very unlucky Christmas. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great work, guys. You are awesome. Three. Let's go fast feet. All the way to number three. That's balance on head. Two hands and one foot whilst trying to get one of these frizzies into the sleigh. Yeah, it's going to be very hard to throw, so I'm going to be on the head. Can't see where I'm going. It has to be an overarm. There you go, in. Who knows? There you go, in. They both miss, but the prezzy can go back. Great effort. Let's get that nice. Last, last attempt, guys. We are running out of time. Number five. Okay. Two hands and two feet. That's not going to work because we need a hand to throw in. So say two hands, one hand and two feet and balance one of the presents on the part of our body. So we can be like that and try and get it in. <laughs> and it's done. And we can end it right there. Great effort, guys. Awesome. Let's slowly stand. And to cool down, let's just take a slow walk around the room to pick up all of our signs. I hope you guys had a fun session. Time flew by. Can't believe it. Christmas is nearly going to be here. And you've had a great Tuesday play with me today. But tomorrow, you've got the amazing Jade Windley, who's the most amazing tennis player. So it's going to be an awesome day with Jade because she's super fabulous. So put all our presents back in the sleigh. And then, do you know what? Let's just sit down now because we worked well. We didn't go super crazy. So I think we could maybe just end on a stretch because we weren't at 100 miles an hour with our things. So we can actually go for a stretch. So let's start off with stretching the legs. So we'll be one leg in, holding at the toes, slowly one more out now. I know you guys must be excited for the rest of the week and the build up to Christmas. So think about maybe this is something that you could do when you've got family and friends with you. Like, you know, not just at Christmas, but at any time. You could actually make that into a really fun game. All you have to do is just use your imagination to think of all the fun people you could be with, all the things that you could be doing. And what setting are you going to put yourselves in? You know, it doesn't have to be a snow world. It could be like, you know, a really hot tropical place. You could be running away from other, like, you know, beasts and magical creatures. Just have as much fun as you can with it. Oh, okay. So that's a string stretch. Let's get these groins because we're all our balancing. We're keeping our core nice and strong. So let's get, like, you know, our limbs nicely stretched. Also, we could be both feet tucked in, so just near bum, elbows into the insides of the knees, and slowly pressing down. And then just lying on our backs, legs extended, knees up, and just slowly rock them side to side. Now, we had no shout outs for me today. However, I want to say a massive shout out to Northamptonshire Sport, who have been following along, and you guys have been doing some fantastic things with the Youth Sport Trust. So, massive shout out to you guys. For everyone taking part at home, a massive thank you from me. So, Let's get ourselves nice and tall now into a really tall stretch. And do you know what you could do for me? From here, let's just get into that really big, strong wide shape. You can get a parent or carer to take a picture of you, making yourselves as big as you can, because you've been absolutely fantastic throughout our after-school sport activities. And please, if you could have a picture taken from a parent or carer, and then you could tweet that or send that into us with the hashtag with the, with the hashtag YST after school would be absolutely fantastic. A massive thank you everyone for taking part. I've been Alastair Patrick Kesselton or APH Inspired as I'm sometimes known as. Massive thank you from all of us at the Youth Sport Trust. Have an enjoyable, safe and lovely Christmas. Massive thank you everyone. Bye-bye.